It was always midnight mass that we went to the Immaculata. Uh, the Jesuits were here then. And what I remember about it was the choir the Jesuits had there for midnight mass was great. So I was here on volunteer fire department when the original church burned. It was in the spring of 1978. And we just got the call and there was many fire trucks they could get here. 42 years later, seeing the new church come up out of the ground and that's a pretty good feeling after you watch the other one burn. My name is Robert Eichmann with Midwest Concrete Materials. We're doing all the site grading and base rock for the paving. Well, the first step we came in, stripped all the topsoil, and stockpiled it for reuse on the site. We had three scrapers running, tractor and scrapers, a, a dozer, a couple of excavators, compaction equipment, water truck. And then the last thing we did was came in and dug the basement for the church. Then we had to do an overdig of five feet underneath the building and then put different dirt back under the building and then we put the layer of crushed concrete for a working surface for the concrete contractor. It was close to 50,000 yards of dirt that we moved on the site, or we will move by the time we're done with the site. It's a beautiful site, and, and my guys working out here just loved it because they came out here in the morning, watched the sun come up, and, and it was great material to work with. The, the front corners of the basement will be where the two towers rise and the height of the towers will be approximately 123 feet from the bottom of the hole that you see. Then the next notch out would be the baptistry. And then you move down about the center, right at the east end of the basement will be the alder. Uh, the basement will daylight out where you can walk out of the basement. That, what you see at the bottom of the floor there would be eight inches below what your finished floor is gonna be. Uh, there'll be four or more inches of rock go on there and four inches of concrete. Or the deep part of the cut, that had to be sloped back to meet OSHA standards so it would be safe for people working hole and not have a cave in. And it all, it all came out real nice. Like I said, it's really good soil so it was easy to work with and get in shape. So the month of September, you will see rebar and other materials showing up on the site. The construction office trailer will be here. You, you'll have workers down in the basement tying rebar mats for the footings and construction fencing, safety fence will go up around the site. And you'll see probably a lot of activity, a lot of truck traffic bringing materials into the site. And then you'll go into October is when all the concrete will start going into the footings and the walls for the basement. And I mean, that was a beautiful church that burned down and this is gonna be a a great church to see come up out of the ground.